This is the play along video for El Gato Pizzicato, but I wanna go over the roadmap and a couple other special things before we get started. The good news is that everything is the same for everybody this time. So you really only need to watch this explanation once and then you can go straight to the play along in this or any other part video. If you already know the drill, hop on over to this minute marker to get started with the play along. There'll be time to slow the video down before the count off if you need to. Let's start with the musical roadmap. It's kind of like the GPS in your car. It gives you directions of where to go and when to make that turn. In El Gato Pizzicato, we have what's called a del segno al coda. This Italian phrase is similar to da capo al coda, DC al coda, but instead of going all the way back to the beginning, the head, we go to the sign, this little symbol here which in El Gato is at measure 22. So when we start this piece, you're gonna start at the beginning and you're gonna play every measure just like normal until you get down to measure 51. After you play this measure, you jump back up to measure 22. And when you start here, you're gonna play all the measures from 22 until you see the two coda sign. This marking comes right at the end of measure 34. So you're gonna play all of the notes in measure 34, and then you're gonna jump down to the bottom of the page here at the coda. Then you play through the coda and you're done. You should already be familiar with what a fermata is and what it means and how we treat it from the Habanera video. But in case you forgot, I said ignoring the fermata is not a plan. So why am I breaking that rule here? Well. Both of the fermatas in El Gato Pizzicato come right before a sejura, and weirdly enough, both fermata and sejura mean stop in Italian. They literally have bus fermatas in Italy. So even though fermata and sejura both mean stop or hold in Italian, musicians treat the two things really differently. Fermatas are a held note, or an extra long rest if your fermata is over a rest, Whereas a sejura is a full stop of complete silence for everybody. Honestly, it'd just be a little bit too complicated if I tried to tell you we're gonna hold the fermata for this amount of time and then we're gonna stop and listen to the metronome for a little bit. And then we've got this measure, which I'm gonna be honest, I didn't meow and that definitely will not be in time. And then we're gonna pause after that and then we're gonna do the del senio al coda, and when we jump to the coda, we're gonna have another fermata that we hold for some amount of time, and then another pause, pause that we hold for some amount of time, and frankly, the first violins are the only ones with anything in measure 55 anyway, so pff, who cares? I promise, everything is gonna make a lot more sense, and it'll be really easy to follow when you can actually see me conducting, but I figured for the purposes of this play along, it would just be easier if we kept everything right in tempo and we'll work on the coordination and you watching me when we're all in the room together. All right, time to play. Everybody comes in at measure one. So we're just gonna have four beats of count off and then you're in. But cellos and basses, you have rests on beats one and two. So make sure you wait after you hear me say, ready, go. If you need to slow this video down, pause and do that now. Then get your instruments in playing position. Fingers and bows, well, everybody plucks at the beginning, but you will need your bows soon. So fingers and bows and fingers and, oh, just be ready to go.